Hello, everyone. Welcome to the devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence, and I thank you and I praise you for this beautiful day that you have given us. Thank you for our life and our health. Thank you for this preparation day to where we can get ready for your holy Sabbath. Father, I ask that you will start by preparing our hearts and minds for the devotional that you have prepared for us today. I thank you and I praise you, Lord, because you saw it fit to allow us to spend some time in your word. Father, I ask a special blessing on all of those today who are going to be participating in this devotional. Allow them to understand what we are speaking about. Allow them to know how to apply it to their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, The Value of Kindness. It was written by the founder of our church, Ernest William Sellers, and taken from the book Mesa de Fe, is translated by Maria Elena Cardona. Our biblical base comes from Luke 6, 30-36, so says the word of God. Give to everyone who asks of you, and from him who takes away your goods, do not ask them back. And just as you want men to do to you, you also do to them likewise. But if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those from whom you hope to receive back. What credit is that to you? For even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much back. But love your enemies, do good and lend, hoping for nothing in return, and your reward will be great, and you will be the sons of the Most High, for he is kind to the unthankful and evil. Therefore, be merciful, just as your Father also is merciful. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. Many years ago, a young woman stood in the moonlight on the porch of her father's house, gazing at the future with joy at the life of her. She looked back at the happy 16 years of her life, realizing She was still a number of years away from reaching the age of her beloved grandmother who enjoyed the peace of home with them. Oh, the long dreams of youth. How slowly time seems to pass when looking forward to certain anticipated pleasures. But looking back after passing the half century mark, how brief life seems to be. And yet the main question we ask ourselves when Reviewing the past and the many incidents that happened in our life is, were we kind? Sometimes our answer can be a satisfactory yes, but other instances arrive in our memory that will haunt us like as long as we live because we fail to reach the measure of God's law in kindness. We cannot relive the past no matter how much we wish, but the present and future are ours. And in them, we can be kind to those who are still with us. In addition to loved ones at home, there are friends and acquaintances. Everyone needs our sympathy and kindness. Do you know that the world is dying for a lack of a little love? It's true, friends. That's right. So let us decide to spread the seed of kindness for our harvest in the hereafter. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us remember always to be kind, no matter who is in front of us, no matter who it is, or if we deem that they deserve it or not, let us always be kind. You never know what a kind word, a kind smile, a kind gesture will mean to someone else. It may make a difference in their lives. It may be what prompts them to stay in church, come back to church, or it may be what prompts them to leave for good. My brothers and sisters, let us remember 
to always be kind. And now, my brothers and sisters, I invite you to check out the YouTube channel, SEC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen.